I identify as non-binary trans femme. Non-binary is essentially neither male or female, neither man or woman. I identify as a designated female at birth, shape-shifting girl, probably. Oh hey, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about a non-binary. So non-binary is a topic that comes up on my channel in passing, but I've never really gone in depth about my feelings towards non-binary people, non-binary as a concept in terms of gender, obviously. And I know this video is without a doubt going to piss off the alphabet people, okay? But I have to be completely honest with my feelings about this. And the best place to start is a definition so everyone knows exactly what we're talking about here. Non-binary, defined as denoting or relating to a gender or sexual identity that is not defined in terms of traditional binary oppositions such as male and female or homosexual and heterosexual. So that means identifying as both genders or neither gender, identifying as a third gender, an 87th gender. The list goes on and on. It's basically whatever you can imagine there's someone who identifies as it at this point. And so right off the bat, this is very different from my experience as a trans woman, just a plain old trans woman. Remember when the conversation used to be being born a boy, transitioning to a woman, moving on, like, and vice versa. That is no longer the conversation. The conversation is completely dominated by identifying as both and neither, identifying as, it's, it's, it's different now. <laughs> And this is pretty timely because recently trans activist Contra Quinns deleted her Twitter, completely went dark after being bullied basically by the non-binary community for making very reasonable statements about how she does not want to walk into every room announcing her pronouns, having everyone ask her what her pronouns are. Um, and that's completely reasonable in my opinion. Who really wants to live in a world where they have to go into a group and everyone goes one by one and asks their pronouns and announces their pronouns on arrival? That is not realistic. To live in a world like that, you'd have to completely deconstruct the way society speaks to each other, interacts. You'd have to tear everything down, basically. Like, I don't walk up to the cash register at 7-Eleven with my Slurpee and my hot dog and say, hi, how much is it? And by the way, before you even talk to me, my pronouns are she and hers. That's stupid. But of course, non-binary people typically don't even go by he or him or she and hers. They go by they and them, z and zer. There's others. I personally completely understand and relate to ContraPoint's sentiments with this. If I walked into a group and someone asked my pronouns, I would actually be kind of offended. Like what, you, you can't tell that I want to be referred to as a girl by how I look? That, that, what was the point of me even transitioning? But of course, speaking of transition, from what I can see, the overwhelming majority of non-binary people do not transition. They don't get surgery, they don't get hormones, etc. Of course, there are some, and there's gonna be someone in the comments, I know of someone, okay, cool, you know of someone. Most don't. And so because of that, I don't relate to it at all, but yet I'm supposed to accept that I am the same thing as them, despite having, quite honestly, the polar opposite experience of moving from one to the other, you know, I, I don't, can't relate. In terms of gender, I have about as much in common with a non-binary person as I do my fiance who is not trans, just a guy, because he stayed at point A, just like non-binary people do. Over the summer, I did a debate on HBO's Vice News in which a bunch of different members from the LGBT community came together and discussed politics, debated. It was, it was a good panel, in my opinion. I was there, obviously, as a transsexual, and there were several non-binary people, and I want to make one thing clear. Take a look at this. Sitting next to me was a non-binary person who was very rude, by the way, was whispering in my ear really rude things the entire time that the camera didn't pick up on. And this person insisted that they were trans as well. They were the same thing as me, right? This person was born male, presents as male, has not transitioned to anything but male, um, doesn't mind going by male pronouns, but yet I'm supposed to accept that I'm the same thing as this person. I'm sorry, but I'm not. And the same thing goes for Jamie at the end of the panel, the other non-binary individual who was born male, has no intention and has never transitioned ever. So again, state at point A, but yet I'm supposed to believe that I'm the same as these two guys really who have not transitioned. How is that the same? That's literally the exact opposite. And of course, if you even dare imply that non-binary people are not the same as trans men and trans women as ContraPoints did and got bullied for it, um, it, they have a meltdown. Take a look at this very short clip in which I tell a non-binary individual that we are not the same. My name is Blair, I'm transgender, and I'm a Republican. My name is Jamie, I use they, them pronouns. I identify as a queer, non-binary, trans femme. Um, I also identify in the ace spectrum of asexuality. I believe non-binary is under the trans umbrella. I completely reject how non-binary people specifically have 
injected themselves into the trans label. I am a transsexual. There's a medical basis for that. There's a scientific basis for that. And for non-binary, it's really not the case. You don't know Maybe, my life. You don't I, know my saying, experience with the you gender dysphoria. We don't know each other's life. I'm not saying that. You're the one that said that I was erasing um, you as trans. I, I am. Like, you're not trans. Like, there's a medical definition of being a transsexual. I'm going to stop you. Jamie, how are you doing? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. Do you feel like talking? You don't have to. Okay. Now let's just keep it real. The moderator of this debate essentially told a trans woman, me, to shut the hell up, to check on the emotional well-being of the non-binary person because I had a voice that was different than theirs. Now I am not trying to bash non-binary people. I'm not trying to say that I'm better than them, above them, higher than them. We all put our pants on one leg at a time. We are all equals here. What I am saying is that we are different. Okay. It seems to me that the goal of non-binary people is to completely destroy and deconstruct the binary. And the goal of trans people is to operate within the binary, as in moving from one to the other, transitioning. And honestly, people get so mad when I try to draw a distinction between myself and non-binary people. But what really gets me about that is that there are so many different letters in the LGBT acronym at this point. I think we all know it's basically the entire alphabet plus some numbers. So there's all these micro distinctions. This is this type of person. This is this type of person. This is this type of person. But yet for me saying, okay, I'm different than that is a problem. A good example is pansexual and bisexual. I know they're different things. I understand the nuance. But if you really think about it, they're not wildly different. Yes, they're different, but they're not that different. Why do they get to have this distinction between this is a bisexual, this is a pansexual, but a trans person can't say, oh, I can't relate to non-binary people who are they and them and don't transition. Why is that an issue? There was a video recently from Pink News, which is an absolutely horrible publication, by the way, um, saying that you can be both non-binary and a lesbian. My pronouns are they, them. I am a non-binary lesbian. So I'm Toto. I identify as non-binary and lesbian, and I prefer the pronouns they, them. So can you be non-binary and lesbian? This is something I often get asked, because when you identify as non-binary, you're saying that you're not female. And if you're not female and you're attracted to women, does that make you a lesbian? I think it's sort of disingenuous to claim that you can't be both non-binary and a lesbian, because you can definitely have an authentic lesbian experience as a non-binary person. I can't even, a lesbian is defined as a homosexual woman. That is a binary term. That means you are a female who's attracted to females. You do not get to say, I'm not a female, but I also am a female who's attracted to females. That makes no sense. <laughs> why do trans women like myself, like ContraPoints, like others, why are we being forced to accept that we are the same thing as this? I identify as non-binary trans femme. Non-binary is essentially neither male or female, neither man or woman. I identify as a designated female at birth, shape-shifting girl, probably. And for me, that identity falls under non-binary because it's not exclusively female or male. Like, I'm sorry, that's just not me, honestly. Another thing is that there is a long historical basis for transsexuals. Like, as early as surgery was a thing, people were having the desire to change their sex. Gender dysphoria, previously known as gender identity disorder, is something that has been around forever. Whereas this new wave of non-binary is literally something that's popped up maybe since 2014 and on. Google Trends shows it. And honestly, it's a little bit insulting as someone who, you know, my earliest memories in life are that of gender dysphoria. I remember being in kindergarten, telling my parents I feel like a girl and like not knowing what that meant and like struggling my entire life and then transitioning, which was also a struggle and coming out on the other side. And honestly, I know I'm gonna get crucified for this video, but I really don't care. My intention is not to, again, bash or put down or belittle non-binary people. I really don't care whatever you identify as. How about it? My only issue is when non-binary people tell trans women and trans men like myself to shut up, take a back seat because they know what's best for our community. They know how to advocate for us and they know what's, they know what's good and we don't. And it's funny because after Consequence deleted her Twitter, I was getting a bunch of tweets from these people who canceled her saying, you're next. We got Contra, Blair White is next. <laughs> One thing about it is I am not cancelable. I will not be run off social media by a bunch of 16 year olds who 10 years ago would have been the emo kids, but now want to be the trans kids. Okay. That is it for this video, you guys. Leave a comment, subscribe. I know this is not your first time on my channel. I know you've been procrastinating hitting that subscribe button, but just do it now. I'm waiting. Hit the subscribe button. Come to my birthday meetup tomorrow at the Westfield Mall in San Francisco at 2 p.m. in the food court. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.